Hiya, it's Andy from Unique. Hope you're all keeping uh, well and yourself and your families are safe. Um, I thought today's practice would keep sort of about 10 to 15 minutes and just make sure you've got the time to do it and a bit of space to do it as well. I've got some water to my side, a blanket in case um, when we go down to the floor, exercises need to be a bit more comfortable. I've got a mat as well, but I think I'll be all right with the floor and uh, the blanket. So I thought we'd combine a little bit of mobility with a little bit of strength work for the abdominals and back, as well as some breathing and stretch work as well. So put it all together. Uh, if you're anything like me, we've probably been sitting a bit more but maybe we've also been taking advantage of the beautiful weather outside. So this could be a good practice to do sort of pre-walk or pre-run or post-walk, post-run. Uh, post if you've got any ailments and conditions, then by all means, have a look through the video first of all. Assess if you believe these exercises are comfortable for you. And if at any time doing these exercises you feel uncomfortable, Please stop or adapt or take rest. Okay? So, without further ado, let's shoulder roll. Change directions. We can keep shoulder rolling and just pivot the neck from left to right. Or from right to left. Let's start thinking about our breath and just focus on our in and out breath as we take the feet hip distance, soften the knees, torso tall, contract the glutes, brace, arms in front for our spinal rotation. Just wherever's comfortable, we can allow the head to turn in the direction of movement. Now let's take the feet a little bit wider and just add a little bit more movement into that. So as we turn now, allow the feet to turn in the direction that we're moving. Lovely. Hip circle. So you can imagine you've got a, a hula hoop. You're just trying to keep that from touching the floor, change directions. I think my record's about six if you've got one at home. Give it a whirl. Lovely. If we need something to hold on to, just going to bring one leg up and then circle the knee. Change direction. We don't have to keep in time with each other. I'm not sure we're playing for any synchronised swim work at the moment. Change directions with the other leg. So nice and smooth. Have we forgotten all about our breath? <laughs> yeah, me too. Change directions. Lovely. So if you're comfortable balancing on one leg, let's just circle the foot. So already I feel already a little bit of tension release just from that. That's enough for you today. 
And at this moment in time, something's just cropped up. Just return to the practice any time. Change directions. I'll give that a little shake as well. Switch sides. Change directions. Shake out. Okay, comfortable seated position. We're just going to do a few breaths here. Just work on taking the breath down to the abdomen. So deep breath in. Into the chest. Slow breath out. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. As I'm speaking about breathing in, if it's too slow or too fast for you, just do your own breath, just about four breaths. Extend our legs in front. So let's put the toes towards us. Let's engage the thigh muscles, suck the thigh muscles into the bone. That little bit of excess or booty. Let's get onto the bum bones. Nice and tall. Raise, breathing. On your out breath, just tip from the hip forward. Just until you feel the back of the legs lengthen, the hamstrings. Try and keep the back nice and tall. Doesn't matter where you go with your hands. Just the first point of tension. Now, if that tension is starting to go, on the next exhale, just creep further forward. Just to the next point of tension. So you're just working with your tension. And then working with your breath to let it release the tension. Central. Lovely. Take your time. Cross legs if it's comfortable or legs in front. So let's sit on those bum bones. Start to think about being torso tall. Chest expanded, shoulders relaxed, face soft. Now, if we've been doing a lot of work on the Computer typing. Let's put the palms together. Relax the shoulders, just put a little bit of resistance between the palms of the hands. So pushing onto one another. straight up. Relax the shoulders, stretch and lengthen the fingers, breathe. If anyone's got high blood pressure, you can just leave the hands by the heart. So, let's start doing a little bit of work for your, the abdominals now. So both hands around the back. Brace and belly button towards spine. Both knees up. So we can keep our body 
back nice and flat, braced, knees in. If we need to leave the hands there, we can. If we do, have the shoulders, the skin of the shoulders wrapping around the back so the chest stays open. It's strong and comfortable for your hands away. And just making sure the posture stays good. You can take the palms, face them up to the sky, and have them at 180, nearly 180 degrees. Yeah? When you're ready, release. So I readjust my position. Okay, let's go again. Hands, knees, brace. Extend the chest, extend one leg, toes in towards you so the legs engaged. Hands, your choice. You might be able to adjust your screens. That's knee shaking with the overload. So a few seconds of overload there, then I'll make it a bit easier for myself by putting my hands down and then coming back in. So that overload. It's nature's way, or my body's way of saying that's a new exercise or that's quite challenging. As long as I've still got the control, switch legs, as long as I've still got the control, I don't mind holding it there for a, a moment or two as the day's challenge begins. Breathe. I could have said to your TV screen. If you want to hold a little bit longer, I'll wait for you. Lovely. Okay. Both hands, both knees, both legs, arms, or arms. Your choice. Are we still braced? I'm just going to hold for three, two, one, I'm releasing. If you want, you can stand. Five, four, are you still there? Three, two, one, relax. Very well done. So, all at different stages of strength. So, just do what you can. Okay, when you're ready, onto your front. If it's not going to be comfortable the ground, you can take your, your blanket. You might be a bit more comfortable. Okay, head facing down. Clasp. So we're going to go the outside of the foot or both. Now, what you could do is you could always use your blanket to wrap around your feet if you can't reach them. Then just hold on to the blanket. Does that make sense? So if I was here and I couldn't hold my feet, I could bring them in, put my blanket around, then just hold on to my blanket instead. Yeah? So it's your choice. Make sure it's comfortable. If you have got the feet, hold the feet. From here, Gently push the feet into the hands. Straighten the arms. So now we can see the chest is lifting off the ground and expanding the, the, the chest. Breathe, you're nearly there. Last little breathe out and push the feet into the hands. Slowly release. Take your time. Coming back up to sitting. Ooh, lovely. 
So hopefully you've enjoyed that practice. Like I say, it's a good one to do pre or post the workouts if you're doing some walking or you're doing some jogging, etc. Or just use it as a, uh, a bit of an energizer or a way that you can um, strengthen and stretch the muscles that you might find need strengthening or stretching at any time. Okay, uh, thanks for uh, taking part. Any uh, questions, any comments? I'm sure you'll make your way down to here <laughs> to put a little note on, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Thanks again.